Multiply 1 and 3 fourths times 7 and 1 fifth. Simplify your answer and write it as a mixed fraction. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite each of these mixed numbers as improper fractions. It's very difficult, or at least it's not easy for me, to directly multiply mixed numbers. One can do it, but it's, it's much easier if you just make them improper fractions. So let's convert each of them. So 1 and 3 fourths, 1 and 3 fourths is equal to, it's still going to be over 4. So you're still going to have the same denominator. But your numerator as an improper fraction is going to be 4 times 1 plus 3. 4 times 1 plus 3. And the reason why this makes sense is 1 is 4 fourths. Or 1 is 4 times 1 fourths. Right? 1 is the same thing as 4 fourths. And then you have 3 more fourths. So 4 fourths plus 3 fourths will give you 7 fourths will give you 7 fourths. So that's the same thing as 1 and 3 fourths. Now let's do 7 and 1 fifth. 7 and 1 fifth. 7 and 1 fifth. Same exact process. You're still going to have, we're going to still be talking in terms of fifths. That's going to be the denominator. And you take 5 times 7, because think about it, 7 is the same thing as 35 fifths. So you take 5 times 7, so it's 5 times 7 plus this numerator right here. So 7 is 35 fifths. Then you have one more fifth. So you're going to have 35 plus 1, which is equal to 36, 36 fifths. So this product is the exact same thing as taking the product of 7 over 4 times 36 over 5 times 36 over 5. And we could multiply it out right now, take the 7 times 36 is our new numerator. 4 times 5 is our new denominator. But that'll give us large numbers. I can't multiply 7 and 36 in my head, or I can't do it too easily. So let's see if we can simplify this first. So our, both our numerator and our denominators have numbers that are divisible by 4. So let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by 4. So the numerator, we can divide the 36 by 4. We can divide the 36 by 4 and get 9. And if you divide something in the numerator by 4, you have to divide something in the denominator by 4. And the, the 4 is the obvious guy. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. So now this becomes 7 times 9. And what's 7 times 9? It's 63 over 1 times 5 over 5. So now we have our answer as an improper fraction, but they want it as a mixed number or as a mixed fraction. So what are 63 fifths? So to figure that out, to figure that out, let me pick a nice color here. We take 5 into 63. 5 goes into 6 one time. 1 times 5 is 5. You subtract. 6 minus 1 is, sorry, 6 minus 5 is 1. Bring down the 3. 5 goes into 13 two times. And you could have immediately said 5 goes into 63 12 times. But this way, it's, it's uh, at least to me, it's a little bit more obvious. And then 2 times 5 is 12, is 12. And then we have, sorry, 2 times 5 is 10. My 2 times 5 is 10. It tells you not to switch gears in the middle of a math problem. 2 times 5 is 10. And then you subtract, and you have a remainder of 3. You have a remainder of 3. So 63 fifths is the same thing as 12, as 12 holes and 3 left over, or 3 fifths, or 3 fifths left over. And if you wanted to go back from this to that, just think. 12 is the same thing as 60 fifths, or 60 over 5. 60 over 5 plus 3 over 5 is 63 over 5. So these two things are the same thing. These two things are equivalent. This is as an improper fraction. This is as a mixed number, or a mixed fraction. But this is our answer right there, 12 and 3 fifths.